Hello, we are anonymous. This announcement is regarding Ritea Parsons. Anonymous has unfortunately learned that the case of Glenn Canning receiving death threats on his YouTube channel in August 2013 has been thrown out. As you can tell we aren't mentioning names, yet. This is what they wrote on Glenn's wall. The comments were left by user Iamkerma902. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what the username means. They are sore because they got caught due to their own ignorance and stupidity. Now, as Glenn Canning has stated, the major problem with complaints against digital platforms is proving who was actually at the keyboard. The issue with that argument is this. Every user that enters an agreement with an online organization is liable and responsible for their user account. So the question begs, why isn't the user being held liable for these actions? It's no different if you get pulled over in a vehicle with drugs inside. If someone doesn't own up, you're all in jail. Why is this different? Or is it because they have a close insider in the government? The father has already been in trouble for changing the Ritea page on Wikipedia to change the words on the page to make it sound like his son had consensual sex with Ray. That's bad but not as bad as what he wrote on another site to a sexual assault advocate as you can see. All the information Glenn Canning has can be seen for yourself at the following address under death threat charges dropped. This has set a dangerous precedent in case law in Canada. Every lawyer and judge refers back to case law, which is other cases of similar charges. Nova Scotia came out with a new anti-bullying legislation and even invoked a cyber task force to deal with it. So much for that, as case law overrules all of that, as you can see here. Yes it's in the judge's discretion, but as we have seen, common sense is not on the side of the victims here. So once again, members of Anonymous Nova Scotia, Anonymous Maritimes, and Halifax Nova Scotia Anonymous in conjunction with Anonymous Canada, and other East Coast hives need to call on Yulina Diab, Stephen McNeil, and Mayor Mike Savage. The previous government laid the groundwork for anti-bullying legislation and enforcement. They invoked a department for online, they brought into law the anti-bullying legislation. It's up to you, the current government to ensure it doesn't become obstructed and is followed through. The issue at hand is these were death threats and a judge shot them down stating it could not be proved who wrote it. That's an extremely dangerous precedent to set when it's proven based on IP address where they came from and because now anyone, anywhere in Nova Scotia with two or more inhabitants can start making death threats. I hope you realize and see where this is going. Your judge has shot the province in the foot, and opened all the doors for anyone to start harassing everyone. You and your judge have set the province back two plus years of anti-bullying legislation, talking, and communicating. Fix it before we release the info on the family. Fix it and fix it now. This is your one and only warning. We will follow up with a second video exposing everyone in the house and everyone involved with the rape. You only have a certain amount of time. It would be wise to come forward and make an announcement publicly you are looking into it so we hold off to see what happens. Anonymous and the public will not rest until either the proper charges are brought on those involved or they are sentenced properly. You should know this by now. We are relentless in answers and justice for Ritea and her family. Ask the previous government. We are no joke as you're about to find out. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.